Hi guys, I hope you're doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Muriel and I'm a food photographer and recipe developer. And on this channel, I talk all about food photography, vegan recipes, as well as personal growth. And today's video is all about food photography. So we'll be taking a little journey back in time, three years, and look at different photos that I've taken over the years. And I'm going to spend time on each of the photos and talk about the positive of the images as well as the negatives. And that way you can take this information that I'm sharing with you and maybe apply it to your current photography. So if you're interested in this topic and the content of this video, make sure to watch it from the beginning to the end. So this is the first photo. It's a sweet potato boat that I shot about two years ago. And overall, by the first look of it, I personally really like this photo. I think it's beautiful. I love the fact that it is super bright and airy. It looks fresh. I love the contrast of the different colors. So from the red of the pomegranate, as well as the orange of the sweet potato and the chickpeas, super nice. I love the little touch of green. It adds a nice little pop of color. Another thing that I personally like in this shot is the fact that it's not perfect. You know, I like the fact that there's a couple of chickpeas that are laying on the plate and even in the back. There's a little bit of uh, chopped uh, parsley that is on the plate as well. And also one of the things that I've started doing recently and that I think is beautiful in fo food photography is to add in the backdrop an element that is present in your image. So for example, in this case, on the main dish, there's this green sauce that I put and I had a little jar of it in the backdrop right here. And basically the purpose of this is just to create this nice sense of repetition. Another thing that I personally really like about this photo is that it feels really natural. You know, the fact that there's a napkin, the food again, as I said, is not perfect. It just looks like a plate that somebody is about to eat in a minute or two. You know, it doesn't look too, too, too staged. In terms of things that I would personally improve in this photo, are first of all one of the things that it's funny because when I first edited this photo I didn't even think of this and today when I was looking at these images and choosing which ones I wanted to share with you guys this is the first thing that popped for me and it's basically the little dots um, right on the sweet potatoes and those dots were just created by me poking my fork onto the sweet potato before microwaving it and cooking it that way and these little dots would be something super quick and easy to fix honestly you can do this in Lightroom or in Photoshop and by the way if you haven't watched my video on uh, retouching tools in Photoshop make sure to watch that I'm gonna link it up here but yeah that would be something that would take a second to fix as well as this you know this little green drop of sauce that is not too too perfect it would have been nicer if let's say you would see really the sauce dripping down fully but you kind of just see like a little blob another thing personally that i would improve in this photo is you see how in the background here these chickpeas you can tell that they're lined up and that's one of those things personally it's a pet peeve of mine i know some people would never even notice this but i personally don't like to create lines with little props or garnishes unless you know like it's a fork or a knife or things like that but in this case it's round chickpeas and personally when there are lines like that that are created i just don't like it as much in my own photography so one thing to counteract this would be to maybe place an extra chickpea right here and that would kind of break off that specific direct line. I think for this image, that's it. Those would be like my main comments about it. So let's move on to the next image. This burrito. I remember when I shot this burrito, I was actually really happy with the final image. I absolutely love the light in this image. It was shot in the middle of my afternoon in the summer. The sun was just coming in super strongly. It was beautiful. And that's, I would say, the main thing in this photo that I love how the light just comes in and creates this backlit effect. I absolutely love that. I also love the filling of the burrito. I find it looks very, very appetizing. Another thing that I personally really like in this photo is actually the focus. When you zoom in into the burrito, it's very much in focus. I find it looks really sharp. And again, that kind of brings out the textures and make this burrito look really tasty. In terms of the things to improve, I don't think there's that many things in this photo that I would personally work on, but one thing that to me, again, when I was looking through my old photos, I saw and it kind of stood out for me and I, I didn't like it as much, it would be this little jar of cranberry sauce. So this cranberry sauce is actually inside the burrito, so that's why I wanted to incorporate it in the scene, but 
I just find that because of the super bright purplish red color of this jar, it kind of attracts the attention of the viewer. Obviously, because the burrito has a lot of texture and like different colors, we see that. But because of this jar that is so bright and colorful and also basically placed centered in the image, I find it's a bit distracting. So what I would do to make it look better would be to just, instead of placing the jar right here, I would place it right here next to the sweet potatoes. I find here it would still create that effect of, you know, the cranberry sauce is in the burrito and you see the cranberry sauce in the scene, but it would also kind of direct the attention away from um, the jar being so centered. And because now there would be a lot of free negative space in that area, I would probably just add other things like maybe glasses of water or something like that. Something that does not distract the attention but still fills in that space a little bit. Another thing that I would personally change in this photo is to add maybe an extra sweet potato cube right here along with these other cubes. I just find in food photography, it's always nice to stick with odd numbers instead of even numbers and that would just make it look overall better and I would probably place it between these two right here or on this side. Again, I just think it would be an extra little touch that would make the photo look a little bit better. Another thing that I would personally modify maybe in this photo, see how this photo that we talked about before had the chickpeas on the plate and it looked really natural. I find that here the plate is a little bit empty and it looks good, but I feel it would be even more visually appealing if there were maybe one or two cubes of sweet potatoes along with a couple of grains of rice or, you know, a little extra of the filling that just fell on the side just to make it look more natural. Last but not least, in this photo, one thing that I would personally change is this knife right here. Although it adds a nice little element of wood, the fact that you only see the handle and the sharp part of the knife kind of blends into the table, I find is not ideal because you don't exactly understand what it is. So in this case, what I would do differently is I would either move the knife to this side here. And so that way you would see a little bit more of the knife or I would place it even like on the plate right here diagonally so that you see the entire knife or even right here on this side of the plate that's empty. Just because I personally find that when you do add certain elements in the scene, you wanna kind of understand what they are and you don't want to say the viewer of the image to have to guess what each elements are. Each element should be placed on a photo for a specific purpose. So yeah, I think uh, those are my thoughts <laughs> about this image. Overall, I very, very much like it. This morning when I saw it again, I hadn't seen it in over a year. I was pretty happy with it. I really still find that this is a beautiful photo. So last but not least, this image of this soup. Um, <laughs> it's funny because I actually remember the day that I shot this and I remember feeling like I could have spent more time working on the styling and making this photo better. Before we jump into like some of the things that I would personally improve in this photo, I would like to talk about the positives. One of the things that I personally love in this photo is the garnishes on that soup, you know, like the sunflower seeds, uh, the pumpkin seeds, the pepper, the fresh coriander. It looks really good and you can almost taste the crunch when you take a spoonful of soup along with the little garnishes. And in case you don't know, I actually have a free ebook that's all about five tips to make ugly food pretty. And this ebook is available on my website. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And one of the tips in my ebook is actually all about garnishes and how garnishes add a lot of depth to an image and make the image look more complex and more visually appealing. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out the link in the description. So that's one of the positive things of this image. Another thing that I really like in this photo is uh, the lines of the backdrop. I find they add a nice movement. I feel like the image would be a lot weaker if the lines were falling either per perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal, it wouldn't look as good. The fact that the lines are kind of horizontal just for me it just looks better another thing that i also like about this image is that it's the photo is not just about the soup there's the soup and then there's the other toast in the top uh, left corner and for me it just adds another interesting element it makes it feel natural again personally it's very rare for me to just eat a soup on its own i'll have it with something else so i can really relate to this photo because 
I like to have something nice and warm and comforting and having something crunchy like an avocado toast or a toast with hummus and something like that. In terms of the negatives now, one of the first things that I personally noticed when I saw this image is the fact that the spoon is almost exactly the same color as the soup. And I'm not a fan of that. I like the fact that the orange of the soup is so vibrant and so rich. And the fact that the spoon is almost exactly the same color kind of competes with the soup. And yeah, I just find it takes away. And also because the spoon is so big, I find it kind of messes up with the proportion of the soup compared to the, the spoon when they're sitting um, next to each other. So that would be like one of the biggest things in this photo. Another thing that I would say is I'm not a fan that I, you don't see that much of the toast. You know that there is bread and there's like some sort of hummus and like green onion and stuff like that. but. I would have liked if that toast would be a little bit closer on the plate and closer to the soup. I think it would just look overall better here. It's kind of just, it feels like a second thought and it feels like it was just added in for like to fill in that negative space, which partly was the case, but again, like if you're going to do that, maybe just bring it a little bit forward. And again, this is just my personal opinion. Another thing that I found in this photo is that although the green on the soup looks really really nice I find that the green of the green onion that's on the toast doesn't look as fresh and bright it's kind of muted in color and looks a little bit yellowish which I find just doesn't look as great so this is just a simple editing tip you know I would just go in Photoshop and modify the green to be a little bit bluer or in this case because I think the green has a lot of yellow in it, I would touch on the yellow slider and make it a little bit more um, green. Last thing that I would modify in this photo would be to actually play with the depth of field. I am pretty sure that this photo I shot at a depth of field of like 2.8 to 3.5, something like that. And basically what that does is that although the top of the soup, which was the main focus element, when I was shooting is really sharp and looks good. The rest of the elements that are a little bit lower, like the pepitas and the sunflower seeds and the vegan parmesan that's sprinkled, as well as the toast and that plate, I find they just don't look as good because they're very blurry. So in this case, I feel like I would increase the ad stop to maybe somewhere around four or a little bit higher even, just have to play with it, just so that everything is kind of more in focus in general. So this is the last image that we are going to be exploring in this little video. If this video was really interesting to you, make sure to let me know in the comments below what are some things that you learned or that you hadn't thought of before. And also make sure to like and subscribe and share if uh, you think that other people in your community could be interested in this type of video. And also be sure to tune back in because I'm going to have a series of other videos where I look at other pictures that I've shot over the past couple of years. And again, kind of like in this video, analyze them and give my thoughts and opinions on how to make them better. On that note, guys, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you very soon.